Triplets CamView IP Pro Series are designed to facilitate the installation and maintenance of surveillance video equipment. Today we'll show you the simple steps needed to connect your tester to your IP camera. There are several different models and all models come with different features. The IP encoding H.264 is supported by all four models. However, the new IP coding, H.265, is only supported by the CamView IP Pro D Model 8073. There are three ways you can connect your IP cameras in order to test them. Option 1 Power over Ethernet. You can directly connect the camera to the tester using the tester's network port 1 using an Ethernet cable. The tester will first detect the PoE device and then supply power up to 25.5 watts. The PoE information and packet activity will be displayed on the screen. You can verify incoming PoE from the switch by plugging that cable into network port 2. Option 2. Non-PoE IP cameras. The camera can either be powered using its own 12V power adapter or using the tester's 12V 2A power output. When using the tester's 12V 2A output, please use the 12V power cable supplied to connect the tester's 12V output port to the camera's 12V power port. You can then connect the Ethernet cable from the IP camera to the tester's network port 2. Do not use network port 1 in this case, as network port 1 may try to supply PoE and disable the 12V port at the same time. Be sure to use network port 2 in this scenario. And option 3. Connect through a network switch. Simply connect an Ethernet cable from the switch to either the tester's network port 1 or network port 2. The network status will show on the tester's corresponding network port bar and icons after you turn the tester on. The tester supports MDI and MDIX connection. Now that you have connected your camera to the IP Pro, follow these simple steps to test your IP camera. Step 1. Select OnVIF Test. Press the Mode button to enter the main menu. Once the OnVIF Test option is highlighted, press the right arrow key to select the test. Step 2. Performing the Link Test. The screen should now be showing one link test just below the title bar. Confirm activity on network port 1 by seeing a green light flashing on the Ethernet port where the camera or network is connected to the tester and adjust the settings as necessary. For example, modify the IP, DHCP, or link speed, etc. Then press the right arrow key to move to the Discover screen. Step 3. Discovering the camera. When entering the Discover screen, the tester software will broadcast an OnVIF Discover message to discover OnVIF cameras. You may need to wait a few minutes for the tester to find all of the cameras, particularly if it is a large network. The text above the list will show the number of cameras discovered. If there is more than one camera listed, navigate with the up and down arrows to highlight the camera you want to test. Once you have accessed the camera, a snapshot from the camera will appear on the right side of the Discover screen. Information about the camera's resolution, frame rate, and compression method will show above the snapshot. You may also notice the Discover screen has a different set of on-screen options than what was on the Link test screen, including Rediscover, which will run by pressing Focus minus, Manual Add, accessible by pressing Zoom minus, Refresh Pick, which will snap a new screenshot from the camera by pressing iris minus, and so forth. Take a few minutes to review the on-screen options as you explore each screen. Step 3.1, Manual IP Settings. Some cameras may not respond to the OnVIF Discover request or cannot reply due to different IP subnet settings. In this case, you should return to Step 2 and set the tester's local IP to be within the same subnet as the camera. Remember, your tester's IP cannot be in conflict with other devices on the network. After that is done, enter Step 3 to try discovering the cameras again. Step 3.2 – Manually adding a camera 
If the camera still cannot be discovered, then you can use the manual add function. To manually add a camera, you must know the camera's exact IP and network path. Once you have that information, press zoom minus while on the Discover screen. Type the camera's IP address into the field labeled URL, then press the Tab key to add the network path. Lastly, press Iris Plus to accept the settings and return to the Discover screen. Step 4. Selecting and accessing the camera Once you have highlighted the camera you want to test on the Discover screen, press the right arrow key to select that camera. If the camera requires a username and password, a notice will display on the right side of the screen saying Authorization Required. In this case, you will need to press Iris Minus to access the username and password screen. You can then open the flip keyboard to fill in the username and password. Remember to use the tab key to move between the fields, then press the return key when you are done. Step 5. Camera Settings While you are in the Discover screen, you can press the Set key to enter the camera's settings screen. The left side of the display shows the settings class, and the right side shows the details of the camera setting within that class. Use Zoom Plus and Minus to move up or down to select the class. To select right side items, use the up and down arrow keys. Use the left and right arrow keys to adjust or change the highlighted settings. You may also use the flip keyboard if you need to type in numbers, letters, or symbols. For example, when updating the camera's IP address to a static IP. When you have finished, press Iris Plus to save your changes. The tester will apply the new settings to the camera. If the camera accepts the new settings, the Setup Successful prompt will be displayed. Otherwise, failure information will be displayed. Please note, some cameras must be rebooted to apply new settings. Step 6. OnVIF Video Testing While on the Discover screen, press the right arrow key to move to the 3 Video and PTZ Test Screen. The Video and PTZ Test Screen will allow you to view a live video feed from your IP camera, control and test PTZ, and enter the camera's setup settings. Pressing the SCR key will switch to full screen video display mode, and all display information will be hidden. The video image will cover most of the screen area. Due to width to height ratio differences, part of the screen could be black with nothing to display. In full screen mode, use the focus plus or minus and the arrow keys to control PTZ. You may also press the set key to access and change the stream profile settings. For example, baud rate, protocol, address, etc. On the video display screen, Pressing the 1 key will digitally zoom in, and pressing the Q key will zoom out. When the image is partly shown, a chart will be displayed on the lower right corner that shows the display ratio. When the image is partly shown, pressing the E, S, D, and F keys will move the viewing window to show different portions of the digitally zoomed image. Finally, to capture a screenshot, press the A key. To capture video, press the Z key. And you're done! Now you have full control of your IP camera. Please stay tuned to triplet.com for our upcoming videos, connecting to all analog cameras, and working with Axis cameras. And remember, if you come across any issues, please give us a call at 1-800-TRIPLET or email us at support at triplet.com and we will do our best to assist you. Until next time.